Hello everyone, welcome back. Today is the bedroom reveal. Finally, finally, at long last, the bedroom is, I wouldn't say 100% finished, but it's more or less finished. So I thought we'd take a look at that today. This has been a very long ongoing process and I've filmed snippets along the way. So I'm going to do this intro and then you'll see all the snippets of shopping um, and what happened about the room. It was all to do with lights mostly. That's all I'm going to say. You'll see through the film. Uh, I don't know why it's taken so long. I've not rushed it. I've just taken my time. I don't know. Life gets in the way, doesn't it? I wasn't in a major rush to get this room finished. Um, but let's get into the background of this change. So we moved in in this house. And immediately I took the other room because it's so much lighter in there and if you if you've been a regular here you'll remember that I was originally in that room that room was done first for my work and then we concentrated on doing this room as our bedroom and I hated it it felt like a dungeon I'll leave a link below to the film of the reveal of when I did the room for in here uh, and you can tell me what, what room you prefer. So we've swapped rooms. Hence why the downstairs of the house is still not done. Because we haven't even made it that far yet. Swapping rooms. It was completely my fault that we had the wrong rooms basically. And I begged Dee to, to change because I knew it would be the right thing to do. And it's worked out really well. It's worked out so well. This room is definitely better for me for filming. Okay, it can be a little bit dark, but I can work around that. But that room in there, the new bedroom, is just so much, it just feels so much nicer. It's, it's nicer to sleep in. It's a lot smaller. Don't get me wrong, it's a very small room. But... It works for us. It works. It's just so much more cosy. It's more relaxed. Uh, we found it so hard to fit furniture in this room. You've got a pillar there. Wardrobes. Cupboard. Um, it, window. It was just so hard to do anything with this room. And we, we spent a lot of money decorating this room. And I hated it. And I couldn't wait to swap. So that's what we've done. And now the room is ready. So you'll see the next snippets of film. I mean, this goes way back to when it had snowed and all sorts. So bear with it. And then I'm going to show you the room reveal. So I hope you like the film. <laughs> Let me know your thoughts, ladies. Does it take you this long to decorate a room? You know, I'm not one of these uh, fancy vloggers that that gets all the decorators in and I'm going to redo my house and you know I haven't got that sort of money I haven't got that sort of time so this is just a bog standard two up two down house that I will decorate as I go along I'm not going to stress about it but I hope you like it I'm, I'm really pleased with what we've done and it was definitely the right thing to do. Even Dia said it was the right thing to do. So she's happy as well. So let's get into the film and I'll show you the room at the end. Welcome back. We're in London. We're heading to Richmond for a little shopping expedition. Well, a mooch around the shops, I should say. It's not very nice weather though. And they keep saying it's going to snow. There's no snow here in London. You can have a look around the shops anyway. There's not a lot else to do today. Right, we've scrubbed that going to Richmond because we got there and it started snowing. So I'm a bit gutted because I really wanted to take you around Richmond. I've not taken you around there before. Well, you, you might have seen it, but not with me. <laughs> it's just actually stopped. 
but I've driven up to Q so we're gonna have a look around TK Maxx and Marks's. There's a really nice skirt that I'm on the hunt for in Marks and Spencer's, so I'm hoping I'm gonna be able to find it. Let's go and have a look. It's very noisy in here. <laughs> I want to chat over about this jacket. Um, I love the. It's like a, it's a blazer, but it's a casual material, if that makes sense. Yeah, it's fifty-nine pounds. But do you know what? I could see me getting a lot of wear out of this. It's not too structured and business like if it makes sense it's a lovely casual type of blazer Well, that was a little bit nondescript for a shopping trip. I'm sorry, everyone. <laughs> I wanted to show you around Richmond and it was just awful weather and there's not one bit of cover there. Perhaps we'll do it in the summer when it's nicer. We'll, we'll have a little pop along there. So then I tried... So then I tried... The Marks and Spencers and I love the Marks and Spencers at Kew Garden it's quite big and there was there was nothing nothing it was like the shop was closing down what is going on it's uh, I guess I don't know is it since lockdown things have changed in the shops do you think I don't know they didn't even have any new in stock there I loved the blazer that I tried on I really liked that blazer I'm tempted to buy that. Um, and then TK Maxx. TK Maxx at Kew is, it's always been my favourite place to go, but it was useless. But at least I got the draw handles. So we're one down. We've got the draw handles. Morning everyone. And what a dark morning it is as well. It's raining. It's absolutely awful out there. Um, but it's not even nine o'clock yet. And look at me already. Um, I'm off to Lakeside this morning with the daughter. She's driving. It's going to be her first time on the main roads. So we'll see how she gets on. But I am loving being chauffeured around. She needs to go to Lakeside for... Um, She's got a hen party and she needs to get something to wear. And I thought I'd go along for the ride. Because I'm still on the search for lights for the bedroom. I need to get this bedroom finished. You're most probably all fed up with uh, waiting and hearing about it. So I am determined now to crack on and get that done. So I've got the Ralph Lauren dress on for the first time. 
love this dress uh, I've not put anything stiff in the belt yet I did nearly put a tan belt on excuse the traffic it's school run time so yeah I've just tied it up I'm gonna get a I'm gonna get a jacket out now and see uh, I don't think I need anything too warm because we'll be inside all the time but yeah uh, obviously I'm taking you with me and we'll have a little look round we need to be back by two o'clock for uh, the school out oh that's her on the phone two seconds right that is her on on her way so she'll be here in a minute yeah we have to be back by two for little ones school the, uh, the special needs school it kicks out earlier than the other schools which is a good thing because uh, Sarah has to pick the other two up at three o'clock I've put hairspray on the hair I've actually had to start tonging my hair because the rollers are just not doing what they should be um, and it just wasn't staying in so I'm using rollers yeah but anyway that's the look let's get a jacket out well I was going to put on my brown leather biker jacket but I think Sarah has it she's obviously borrowed it and not given it back which is what mothers and daughters do sorry you can't see me so I've settled for the corduroy blazer from um, traders I think this is I'm wondering if I should belt it it's quite big for me now but yeah I like all the brown tones oh 5p 5p in my pocket anyway let's get going I think this is just going to have to do I don't want to put a big coat on because I'll be too warm see you when we get there This is different, a new River Island, River Studios, River Island Clothing Company. This is River Island's rebooted home to a collective of creatives. Oh, I'll be looking in there when it's open. It's looking interesting. this one to JD Sports because you got to get your bit in first sense hopefully we're gonna finally find the bedroom lights and get this done
literally no lights in HomeSense. So here we go to TK Maxx. I'm getting a little bit deflated now. I've not got long because we need to get back for the school run as well. So. darling come on come up here come the pink blanket by the way that we got to go on here she loves it so much I ended up putting it on her bed so she sleeps on that at night now we're gonna have to find something else aren't we right okay sit down no I don't want to kiss sit down good girl should we show everyone what we got? Not a lot. I thought it worked out to be a good shopping trip. But I bought lights. I was like, yes, I finally got lights. She hates them. So they're going back tomorrow. And I will do it all again. And I will get them lights. And before this film is finished, that room is going to be finished. I swear, I'm done with this room. I just want to get it done. I've got some work to be done in the bathroom and I won't start that until we finish that room. And I, I just need to get on there. Oh, and I want to get what needs doing in the bathroom. And then when that's finished, I can start going downstairs. And, you know, that kitchen, it really needs painting. It's going to be done. Anyway, I came home to a parcel from Denmark. I've not opened it yet. So we'll have a look in there. I'm not sure that I'm going to try on today. I'll leave it most probably until the uh, try on haul the new in. But I just thought I'd open it with you. So we've got our little Primark bag. Will you come up here? There's nothing in here for you. Nothing. You gonna come up? Lay down then. Down. I think she thinks they're sweet. I've got some uh, jellies in here. I think that's what she's after. Yeah, so really exciting Primark socks. They're socks. They're not for you, are they? Honestly, every time I go out, I swear this dog expects me to bring her something back. Because you're too spoiled. That's the problem. Glasses. Would you like to try them on? There you go. No. Some glasses. Two pounds. Two pounds. You know, you can throw these in the car, can't you? And not really worry about them. Um... But yeah, I think they were two pound or two fifty. But yeah, I quite liked those. Cheap as chips. Um, and that's it. And some jellies, and I think this is what you're waiting for. I will give you one jelly. Sit. So spoilt, so you're not having any more, not for dogs. Right, anyway, the lights. So I got these, I thought they were quite cute. Dee doesn't like the colour, she doesn't like the colour of the shade, she doesn't like the glass. So I think they're going to go back, which is such a shame because I really like them. Um, tlclighting.com never heard of them but I thought they was quite nice you've got the little bubble on the top there yeah so shame they're most probably going to go back so <laughs> I'll most probably be sharing a different set of lights with you tomorrow let's open this What a 
pick this up. I actually chose these items. And this is a brogue anglaise dress for the summer. Oh, come on, roll on better weather. Who is done with the weather? I think this time last year we was having a bit of a mini heat wave. And it's just been awful. I, I can't even get out to take any photos. It's just ridiculous. Oh, it's nice. It's nice. Any of you regulars here will know I love a Denmark dress. They make good quality dresses. Yeah, this is it. Look, another shirt dress, ladies. I'm sorry. I hope you're not too bold with shirt dresses. I love them. I think they're so easy. This is actually really nice. Can you see the pattern? It needs a good iron. You've got a self-tie belt. Um, it's nipped in at the waist from what I can make out. Yeah, you've got seam on the waist there. I'm just an A-line skirt. I'm really looking forward to trying that. Really pretty. Just need the weather for it, don't we? Yeah, I really like it. I've altered it in a size 10. Yep. I think I'm going to get a lot of wear out of that this year. Well, if the weather picks up. And another blazer. Now, I've kept the cream blazer from H&M because I, I just couldn't not. But this is a beige. This will be a nice everyday beige blazer. And this wasn't expensive actually. And this looks very really nice. It's a linen blend. Linen blend blazer. You've got this stripe on the inside here. Um, and they've turned the cuffs up. I don't like that. I think that cheapens it a bit. Yeah, that looks just so much better. It looks very boxy actually. I thought it was going to be a lot more fitted than this, but I love the colour. I think this is going to work with a lot of things in my wardrobe. It's going to look good with jeans, cream or navy jeans, um, all the beige trousers, yeah, all the neutral stuff. So yeah, I really like that. I didn't like that turn up though. That just, no, that cheapens it. It's quite a good finish, but you've got no buttons on the cuffs. There's no uh, split at the back. It's fairly boxy, actually. Yeah, I look forward to sharing that with you. I'll save it for the new in haul, sorry. But anyway, I might try it on tomorrow when we do some filming tomorrow. It needs good steaming. Right, I'm going to go and... Put my feet up now and watch some TV. The grandson loved it. I can't believe he knows every brand of trainer. He's trainer mad. Uh, he's 11 years old and already getting into that designer stuff. But yeah, it was nice having him come along. Blooming teacher striking. It is what it is. Um, yeah, Sarah got what she wanted. So yeah, we all came home happy. Well, I thought I was. But Dee doesn't like the lights, so they have to be changed. Normally I could sway her and, excuse who, because the cleaner's here. I could normally sway her and uh, get her to keep those lights. But I'm, I like them, but I'm not in love with them. So, yeah. Back on the wagon tomorrow, looking for the lights. So I'll see you tomorrow. morning everyone um just got dressed thought i'd share that i'm still wearing dresses and i've quite enjoyed it i have quite it's not been as hard as i thought it would be it's actually it feels nice to wear a dress end of um yeah this this roman one 
I've got my thermal tights on and a slip dress and I'm just walking around the house in the, the Mashula slippers. That creaky floorboard is driving me nuts. I'm not bothered a lot today so I'm a little bit scruffy. It is pouring with rain so I'm not even going to bother about the hair. I've just tied it up. Um, and we're off out. We're going to take those lights back and change them or get my money back. Dee didn't like the lights at all. I don't know if I said that yesterday. But I am determined now to get this room finished. That room is going to be finished. So I've said to Dee, if you want to choose lights, she's got to come out shopping. So off we're going in a minute to take these lights back and hopefully find some new ones. Well, I've said I'm not coming home until I have the lights. Um, at long last, we've got lights. Dee chose the lights. I didn't. You chose them, didn't you, darling? Of course I did. Yours were crap. <laughs> Mine were crap. I don't know if you can say that on YouTube. No. Um, and we picked the lights and there was only one light available so now I've got to I've had to order another light so I've got to wait for that to be delivered but we're getting there slowly. Did you get free delivery? Yeah I did get free delivery. Good. So it's just putting it all together now. Oh I'm there? Yep and there's a parking space. Dee's got her shopping head on today. So we're parking up and going in choice. Right. But at least we've got lights. Morning everyone. So we got lights. We finally got lights. And guess what? We're not sure if we like them. Let me show you the light. So I got these from Dunnell. I was really pleased with them, I do like them. That Dunelm, I, I could do damage in Dunelm. I've, I've bought a couple of pieces as well that I'm going to share with you. But yeah, this was the light that Dee chose. And I thought, yeah, that's actually quite nice. I, these are touch lights as well, so it goes dimmer or brighter, which I thought was really good. I hope that noise isn't interrupting too much. Um, yeah but they only had one available so i've had to order one and when that comes we'll we'll see what they look like so this at the moment is the light but we're not a hundred percent sure i can't believe the problems we're having with finding a light but yeah it's a lovely design i just think it's a little bit modern for the room but we will see. When we've got the other one, we'll see what it looks like. Yeah, so that's the light. They weren't expensive. I think it was about £50, £49 each. So not too bad. And I love that it, it dims as well. Right. Right, so the other thing that I bought, I got a Fogarty Hollow Fibre Duvet. This is only a 7.5 now and I know we're in coming into April so I know in the next few weeks if it warms up Dee's going to say I can't stand that quilt. Be quiet. I'll just crack on. Um, yeah she's going to say I'm far too hot with all this bedding so I thought I'll get a new summer quilt. This is a nice thin one, and if you remember, I've still got the um, Christie's uh, throw to go over the top as well. So I thought them paired together, if we get too warm, we can take the throw off. So yeah, it was really cheap. This is a king size, 20 pounds. So I was pleased, I'm not, oh yeah, I did have a feel of it. It's not feather, this is just, um, yeah it's a hollow fibre one uh, our really thick quilt is a feather one from um, Ikea and it, I think you can't beat Ikea thick heavy duvets I really don't, I've had two now but yeah 
so that's that i got some uh coat hangers some more trouser coat hangers because i don't know if you notice in the last couple of vlogs i always use these on my rails in my holes because they're nice and flat they look smart and i couldn't find my regular ones i just could not find them who loses coat hangers i clearly do um i found them now but i thought yeah i'll get a couple of extras of those three pounds for three which i think is pretty good going and they've got hooks on for belts as well so yeah i've got them but what i really love i bought something for the bathroom i'm going to take it in there in a minute this shell this conch shell i think it's absolutely beautiful 25 pounds look it's on the inside there 25 pounds you can put a nice hanging plant in this or i might just fill it with skincare or whatever i haven't got a hanging plant to put in it at the moment but i thought the detail of it it's really beautiful for 25 pounds that's how it will sit on the shelf really really pleased so anyway Right, let's have a look. I hope you like it. Here we go. It just all fits in so much better, I think. Um, where can I start? So the bedding. <laughs> We've not changed the bed. You've not seen these. I, I don't know if you remember these drawers, chest of drawers. These were in my flat in London and we couldn't fit them in the other room. And we didn't want to get rid of them straight away. So um, when we decided to move back in this room, it was possible to have the, the two here so what I've done, I've re-sprayed them. I've gone and got some new glass cut for the top because there was some glass smashed in the move, if I remember rightly. Yeah, so we've got new glass tops. These uh, drawers cost us literally nothing. They weigh a ton, but they're really old. And they was dark wood when I got them. I've had them black, I've had them brown. We bought some nice uh, draw knobs from TK Maxx. I think they cost four or five pounds. I remember unboxing them with you. And there you go. These are the lights. So we chose, we both settled on lights from Marks and Spencers. And I love them. Uh, I wasn't sure whether to get gold or silver. But I think the silver fits in with the drawers better. But then we've got our beloved pictures above on each wall. So uh, they're, they're not going anywhere. They're, they're Dee's pride and joy, but I do like them. They're, they're by uh, an artist called Van Ho. Yeah, they're, they're very dear to uh, They're important to Dee, so, and I like them as well. Yeah, so just got a couple of ornaments on the sides there. And then the bedding. So I don't know if you remember a long time ago, last summer I bought these at the um, Freeport Outlet Village. These are by Bedeck, I'm pretty sure. And I never knew I was going to end up with a green to match in. I don't know if you remember this bedding came from Christie's and I ordered it in grey, but it came in green. But I really like it. I think the green and the grey actually goes quite nice and it doesn't make it too dark. I've put a thinner quilt on the bed now. Where did I get that? Dunelm. So there's a summer quilt on the bed, but this is going to be great for, um, you know, that little bit of extra warmth. This can go in the washing machine as well, so I'm really pleased about that. And then you had the little cushions to match. 
so it worked out well so this is D side and we've got another picture and oh let's talk about the mattress can I just say let's have a look let's roost some bedding out here the quilt is uh, it's just a white cotton quilt this is from dusk bedding yeah dusk bedding I'll leave the links to anything that's available but dusk bedding is amazing dusk bedding is really good and it's so reasonable I'd normally go for Dolma you can get Dolma at Dunelm but uh, I liked the look of this and it's lovely it's lovely and soft under the pillars here I've got the these are bamboo silk I can't remember the brand name I'll link it down below but we got a fitted sheet and a, and a flat sheet and these they they're just so lovely I either use these or I use the silk pillowcases from um, Lily Silk. I always have a silk pillowcase because otherwise my hair goes too frizzy. Let's have a look at the mattress. Yeah, so this is the mattress. It's called the Pillow Top. This is, uh, it's quite a firm mattress. It's been brilliant for Dee's Fibro. Yeah, this is called the Pillow Top from Harrison Spinks, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, Harrison's, Harrison Spinks, absolutely amazing. Uh, you can buy these in Furniture Village, but they're only made to your specification. We had a lot of cashmere put in ours for the firmness. They'll put all different fillings inside to your type of needs so the mattress is only actually made when you order it i actually went to the factory didn't i i'll leave that film down below but wow what a bed it's been absolutely brilliant and the other thing the other oh it's let's get for all that bedding uh this has been a major improvement in our life a heated blanket now Dee talked about getting a heated blanket and I'd never had one before but oh my goodness a heated blanket changes everything and I mean everything getting into a warm bed when it's winter is just an absolute joy absolute joy it was only cheap off of Amazon but again, that's really helped with Dee's fibro really a lot. Now, I hope that's not too blown out. Let's try and... Curtains. I've put the original curtains on the windows. Don't know if you can see that pattern. They're really, really... They're really lovely curtains. I've got these in TK Maxx. But we're going to have to get some blackout ones. It's way too light in here for us. We need some blackout blinds. Then we've got the chest of drawers, which I am so pleased with. And this is how I've styled it up. This is from Ikea. I don't know. I think in the film there might be a bit of Ikea. I'm not sure. Um, this lamp is really, really old. And it had a black shade on it, but I just swapped this one up. I got this one in Dunelm. I think it was only cheap. But I like how it's made the look. So I know we've got a bit of mix of gold and silver, but I don't mind that. Uh, the frame is from Laura Ashley. I've got to get a picture put in that. We've got another Van Ho picture there. That's got to go up on the wall yet. And then big mirror this used to be in our front room in the flat in London we didn't want to get rid of it so I've put it up there uh, the ladies these ladies I found these in a charity shop but I really like them so I was pleased about them I've had, had them a long time yeah I'm so pleased with how it's turned out, really. And then I've got the flowers. 
I literally just, I, I mean, I know they do look like they've been dumped in, but I just wanted something natural. This is really old. This is crystal, this vase. It's actually quite dusty. It needs a good clean. Um, but yeah, but I stuck the eucalyptus in there. I've got some um, old gypsophilia that I dried. I think I bought them for Christmas one year. I've got some dried stuff out of the garden. Yeah, I quite liked how it turned out. So, yeah. It'll be nice, actually, to have another room to film in up here. So we do the bathroom, we do my room, and now I can do the bedroom as well. The kitchen is going to be painted next. I've got some work to finish off in the bathroom and then we'll start making our way downstairs so it's getting a little bit exciting now just can't wait to get the front room done it's so bad I won't even show you it's really bad but we have everything ready nearly so I can't wait right so that's it I hope it wasn't too boring for you I hope you enjoyed the journey and the saga of the lights was just unbelievable but I think we made the right choice in the end with the Marks and Spencers lights. So if you enjoyed the film, please give a thumbs up because that helps everyone else see my film. It just means so much to me. So please give a thumbs up. And if you liked the film, please subscribe. I do fashion, beauty, lifestyle, uh, not just rooms. So I'd love to have you come back. And I'll see you in the next one.